much that the NSA is hoovering up all of our email contacts. Facebook just changed their terms so that you can no longer opt out of searches to remain private. Google just changed their terms, indicating that they are now going to use our photos and names in ads at their whim. The entire world is outraged at the USA's data collection programs, but that outrage hasn't stopped the NSA and its BFF tech companies from spying one bit. In fact, they only seem to be ramping it up. If we are online, we will be tracked. So what are we to do to fight back besides write snarky things on Twitter? Maybe it's time to data bomb the system. NSA Director Keith Alexander has defended the practice of bulk data collection in the past by saying, you need the haystack to find the needle. Well, let's give them that haystack. Let's give them tons and tons of data they don't need. Because we also just learned that the NSA is being overwhelmed by spam. As they suck up all of our data, they are also sucking up the tons of spam we receive. And the NSA's Utah Data Center keeps melting down with fires from all of that equipment because who the hell can properly store that many zettabytes of information? Maybe the only way to effectively fight the NSA's data collection program is to bomb their systems with more data than they can handle. Let's make fake browsing histories with plugins like Paranoid Browsing, which makes it look like we're visiting thousands of websites more than we actually are. Let's make up fake names every time we register for anything. Let's all have 20 email addresses. Instead of unsubscribing from Bed Bath & Beyond's email list, let's click reply and write long missives about how our days are going. A new report says that spam has increased by 355% this year on social sites. Let's embrace all of that crap as our first line of defense against the NSA's data collecting. Because our government and our corporations are not going to stop. So maybe it's time for us to get creative and have some fun and data bomb their systems with more information than they can possibly handle because they don't care about our outrage. So let's not care about making their jobs more difficult. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.